I think political street art in Egypt has a different role than the social media. It is significant in several ways. First, and probably the most important, is that the political street art has become a symbol of freedom. People got back their own country. They wanted to declare that they owned the streets, they owned the environment, and the political street art was a perfect tool to, to express that feeling. So, let's say the project Egypt and Colors where um, neighborhoods guided by the fine art students decided to, to paint the streets to make it more colorful and more nice. So this was a way to, to declare that we own the streets, we, um, we have the freedom to decide what we want to do. Then the second, I think, uh, important significance of political art, of course, is a way to express yourself, express your sadness, express your anger and happiness. And thus, for example, such project as Open My has become a really um, popular among the neighborhoods in, in Cairo. People could just go up to the mi uh, microphone and express what they think. And this is also a kind of uh, street art or street intervention, so to say. Then third, um, I think political street art is... Um, is more constant, is a permanent reminder of something that is important. If we put something on Facebook, um, it does go there for a certain time, it stays there. But uh, let's say paintings of uh, martyrs, um, of November clashes or recent Port Said massacre is a constant reminder, it's always there, it's always on that wall. So it just reminds people of, of what is important to remember, the, the crimes that um, Mubarak regime has performed or SCAF uh, has performed recently. And then also, for example, theater production of Tahrir monologues, where people narrate their stories uh, during the 18 days of the revolution, has been touring in Egypt and is also an important reminder of, uh, of what has happened. And that brings me to another point, that political street art is also an alternative uh, to, to the state media or to the social media. Not everybody has an access to, to, to TV or to internet, Facebook and Twitter. And thus people take in their own hands how to inform people on what is important. And that's, for example, um, the community um, I'm Egyptian has been screening important videos from the protests or important videos where, where SCAF members are... Um, clashing with the protesters and they've been screening it in the different neighborhoods of Cairo which is also a kind of art or street intervention and it plays uh, uh, such a role as, a, as an alternative to the state media or alternative to any other medias. So I think in these four ways uh, political street art is important and also different from the social media.